Professor, you've got to impregnate this elephant or the entire species will become extinct. You mean I gotta put this thing in that thing? Well, this is a job that's not worth the money. Ho, 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 subscribers. It's not Christmas, but it is your boy Blasphemous HD. And today we are here to react to more of my favorite cartoon. It is Family Guy Funny Moments. What's funny is you guys are sending me these compilations. Thank you to all of you guys who are sending me these compilations, by the way. But what's really funny about this is there's still scenes that I have not seen yet. And there's still scenes that can make me laugh. I've laughed at every bit of Family Guy possible. There's no way that there's more stuff that's gonna make me laugh. But there always freaking is. I'm always proven wrong, which is a good thing. But yo, with that being said, let's do this. When I first joined this cause, I was just trying to get this guy to poop. But now, we're this close to getting sex outlawed in the United States. No, no. Wait, maybe they should outlaw sex. Because then, if females think it's against the law, then they'll want to do it more. Because women like bad boys. You know what? That's solid thinking. I'm going to start telling women that sex is against the law. And I don't do that because crime doesn't pay. Especially not if it's about sex. Sex crimes. Sex crimes don't... Wait. I hate you. <laughs> We brought you to this fast food roast beef restaurant. Uh, yeah, I'll take the Angus steak melt. I'm sorry, are you here to poop something out? Yes. Okay, this line is just for regular diners. You need to get in that line. Excuse me, is this the line for people who need to puke something up? I think this is just the poop line. Cheers. You know what restaurant we're talking about. I don't know what else to do. We've tried everything. Brian, the jeweler closes at six. You don't have much time left to return that ring. You're right. You know, Brian, this wouldn't have happened if you were just honest with women and had an ounce of integrity. Don't pull rank on me. You ate a ring, you worthless tub of crap. Yeah? Well, who's going to be fishing through a tub of crap soon, you unemployed butt munch? Whoa, whoa. Let's calm down, guys. Shut up, you unemployed butt munch. Okay. Hey, Lois, what's going on here? Oh, it's my book club, Peter. Come, join us. Oh, okay. I faked my own death once. <laughs> no dentist appointment for this guy. But we welcome all of God's children in their hour of need. Well, actually, I think we need it for more than an hour. Or do we, right, Lois? <laughs> I, I do not last very long. Oh! Oh! Look at this, Cleveland. Front of the bus, back of the bus, middle of the bus. You guys are doing great. So I'm going to measure your penis, and then I'm going to measure my penis, and we're going to see whose is bigger. Doesn't really seem fair. All right, let's see what you get. Stupid game, anyway. <laughs> Doesn't really seem fair. <laughs> I have to say, Peter, I am impressed by how much you have committed yourself to Islam. Are you kidding? It's awesome. I even started wearing leather sandals with way too long toenails. See how the big ones are getting yellow? Ah, yes. Very Muslim. Oh! We did it! We found the treasure! Oh. You know what, Peter? Is it bad that I like that treasure chest because it looks like one of the ones from the old school Zelda off of Super Nintendo because of rupees? No? Okay, you're right. You're right. I'm... You right. Why don't you open it? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. No, okay, I'll, I'll, I'll open it. Here, hold this. Well then, sell the cow and be sure you get real money for it. What else would I get? I don't know. Magic beans. There are magic beans. I don't know. Who cares? Well, what's magic about them? Don't get magic beans, you idiot. What? I, I never even freaking heard of magic beans till you said them. If I do get them, it's you what caused it. Oh, come on. I'm supposed to go into town and sell this cow. Oh, you're selling that cow? I don't have much, but I'll give you some magic beans for it. Oh, <gasps> that's exactly what I was supposed to get. I said not magic beans. Look, well, let's just admit we both kind of got our wires crossed and commit to being clearer in the future. Which is what the person who loses the argument always says. Well, looks like it's just you and me, Shadow. Oh! Shadow! 
Hey, Peter, my kid's selling Girl Scout cookies. I mean, we're collecting for Janet's pregnancy. Softball sign up? Trick or treat for UNICEF? Oh, pitch in for Ed's retirement cake? Oh. Holiday party? Whoa. Company picnic? Oh. Secret set? Oh. Carpool info? Oh, finally! Now I can get myself to the. Uh oh! Bruh, I've actually had that happen to me, man. One time, I was going to play poker. I was, like, halfway there, and I just had to fart, like, hella hard, right? But, like, my problem was I had had milk, and I'm lactose intolerant. So when I do have milk, it ruins me from the inside. So I was up in there, man, and I was walking, and I just thought it was a fart. So I went to fart it out, but then nothing happened. So I was like, oh, snap, well, I guess I just need to give it the quick little heave-ho. So me being the real one I am, I started to push. And that is when I knew that I had f***ed up. Because what came out, it was it was not a fart. And I basically had to hobble like a penguin into the man's restroom. Luckily, the damage wasn't unrecoupable. Moral of the story is, don't f at least not in front of a bunch of strangers in the middle of a Bally's casino. And that's the realest I've ever written. Well, I guess I can understand that. You know, I'm addicted to nasal spray. I smell everything! I'm invincible! I'm probably gonna be a little down until I use the spray again. In Greece, it was commonly held that one could speak to the gods from the top of Mount Olympus. We should probably go there. What do you mean, gods? There's more than one? Yes, Peter, Greece is polytheistic. Quick, Peter, say something so he thinks you know what he's talking about. Words. Yeah, you get it. Man, how the hell am I gonna quit smoking? I wish smoking could just quit me instead. Thank you for meeting me here. I have something very important to tell you. I have something important to tell you, too. Peter, I think we should see other people. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, good. That's what I was gonna say, too. I thought you liked working at the toy factory. Hell no. I always wanted to be a podiatrist. Thanks to you, Dr. Griffin, my bunion is healed and I can walk without pain. This isn't a joke. I once had legitimate aspirations. Jack? 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 Jack. 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 What is that other word? <laughs> Oh my god, Joe, there's a man on the wing! Peter, there's no man on the wing. There is! I saw him! Peter, stop being ridiculous. I'm telling you, lift up the shade! There's a man on the wing! <sighs> fine. It's me. I'm the man on the wing. Peter, how the hell'd you get out there? Are you crazy? Get back in here, Peter! What the hell's going on back there? We're losing altitude! Cotty Jennings! Oh my god! I know she was upset, but... Do you think Lois would have gone so far as to kidnap him? Of course she did. She'll do anything for attention. I know. She's like the boy who cried wolf. Wolf! Wolf! Did you hear that? Somebody needs help! Let's go! Ah! Oh my god! Charles! Oh my god! I'll run and get help. No! No! We've got to carry him! We can't leave him here! There's a wolf! Um, there's not really a wolf. What?! Oh, my kids. I love him. Charlie! Charlie! <laughs> this was so funny in my head when I planned it. It always is, Charlie. How damn almighty it always is. Peter, you left the flap open. It's like a thousand degrees in here, Lois. Close the tent now. It's freezing. Headline, woman cold. Aw, oh, look at the little guy. So peaceful. Hey, wake up! We got one more! Now, if this don't get you to sleep, nothing will. Cinderella by Nobody Remembers. Ever you have to do, Brian, but never let him know he's got talent. Yeah, you're right. It won't be so hard. 
After all, I've certainly done worse. I replaced Peter's I can't believe it's not butter with real butter. But what? But I I can't I can't believe you what? I don't know, Doctor. Looking back, I think it may have been real butter. Your husband murdered three children. No way! Those guys have a TV in their car! <laughs> They're watching Operation Dumbo Sex with Don Nuts. Professor, you've got to impregnate this elephant or the entire species will become extinct. You mean I gotta put this thing in that thing? Well, this is a job that's not worth the money! Peter, watch the road! Lois, get off my back, will you? I'm trying to watch TV. I swear to God, sometimes I think your head's screwed on backwards. I mean, do you have any idea? <gasps> <laughs> Hey, Crashy, what are you doing down there? Huh, wonder what the hell's down there. Judd Hirsch? Uh, hey. Uh, what, uh, what's going on? Nothing. All right. Oh, why didn't I close pin the end of my penis like Muriel told me to? What? Oh! Oh my god, he is so feminine! God, Jesus! How do you close pin the end of your genitalia, man? How is that even a thing? You bowled a perfect game! <laughs> what? You think you were God himself? No, he's over there. Hey, you want to see what I can do? All right, ready? Check it out. Beer, glass. All right, now watch this. Oh, hey, guess I'll go over here for a minute. Uh, da, 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 da. Oh, holy crap, that's still pouring itself. Oh, wow. Oh, that's amazing. I've never seen anyone do that. You want to go out later? Would you it's good to know that even cartoons uh, make sure to make that paper uh, anus gasket for the public restrooms. I don't, I don't trust it. And you never know what liquid that is. You ever had to go to the public restroom and play, what's that liquid? It's everybody's favorite uh, pastime and or, uh, you know, game or something. Just sit down and go to the bathroom already. Where a local man, Glenn Quagmire, was charged with peeping in the ladies' room. You know, you're lucky I've got some extra pull around here, thanks to my 18 medals for heroism. Hey, here he goes again with the medals. Hey, Joe, if you love your medals so much, why don't you marry him? Well, well, look who's here. All right, all right, look, I know an apology is due here, so, Lois, tell Quagmire you're sorry you had him arrested. Excuse me? He's the one who owes me an apology. He was watching me go to the bathroom. Well, clearly he thinks you're attractive, Lois. It's a positive thing. Thank you, Glenn, for complimenting our family. Yeah, I don't want to bring a new baby into the world with him running around. Okay, first of all, Bonnie, you've been pregnant for like six years, all right? Either have the baby or don't. Second of all, Quagmire's a good guy. He's just a little mixed up. <laughs> This isn't medium rare. Then have them take it back. Sorry about that. Second of all, Quagmire's a good guy, you know? He's just a little mixed up, that's all. Come on, give him another chance, eh?
All right, but one more incident like the one at the bowling alley and Quagmire is out of this neighborhood. Now, don't worry about a thing, Quagmire. Your pals are going to help you change your ways. <laughs> I don't know, Peter. I'm not sure I can do this. Meg, get out of the way. <laughs> Fire hydrants look better than Meg. That's so real. Peter, are you sure Quagmire is ready to be out in public? Nothing to worry about, Lois. We figured out a foolproof rehabilitation method. I got the idea from when Brian had to wear that cone after his operation. Okay, okay, if I make this, we're all gonna get laid. Ha-ha! <laughs> yes! Score! Score! Boy, I'd really like to chew on my crotch right now. Okay, Quagmire, time to take off your training wheels. <sighs> okay, I think I'm ready. Where am I? Am I dead? No, this is where we monitor all the dressing rooms in the mall so we can keep an eye out for shoplifters. You don't say. Oh my god, that one's having a heart attack! <laughs> that was amazing! You saved her life! Thank god you know CPR! Congratulations, Quagmire! You're the newest member of my wall of fame! Quagmire got a key to the city, Mort bowled a perfect game, you're always getting medals for catching crooks. Hell, even Cleveland used to be an accomplished auctioneer. I have 125. Do I hear 130? Do I hear 135? 140? Do I hear 140? B. 135 going one. You know, if, if I die tomorrow, there's nothing people would remember me for. From this day forth, people are going to know the name Peter Griffin, even if I have to shout it from the rooftop. Peter, if you just let me talk, I'll explain to you why you shouldn't do this. Later, later, Brian. I got to do something people will remember me for. Which is why I've invented a new type of flying machine. All right, Stewie, let her rip. Oh! All right, we attack the Rice Krispie guys at dawn. <laughs> All right, we attack the Rice Krispies factory at dawn. <laughs> Who knew the Keebler L? so dark. I've been eating their cookies for years. I didn't even know they got down like that. Assuming Judd Hirsch delivers the goods. I've been working on this all week and I keep coming up dry. Who am I kidding? I'm never going to be remembered for anything. Not like my great great uncles, the Siamese twins who fought each other in the Civil War. I'm seceding like hell you were. Ooh. Not too smart, huh? Yeah, did not think that one through. The man who held the Guinness World Record for most drugs ever done by a single human being died today. He was attacked by a pack of wild dogs he thought he saw. Oh, <laughs> Ooh, there you go, Peter. You could break a world record. What are you, nuts? I got no special talents. Well, well, what can I do that nobody else does? Well, you just ate my tip. I got it. Everybody, you're looking at a guy who's going to set a new world record. I am going to eat more nickels than anyone has ever eaten before. Setting this world record is going to make me famous, just like the world's fattest twins over there. Did I tell you that I'm doing Atkins? Oh, that's not good for you. Ugh, this is the worst use of money since I tricked out my big wheel. Hey, ladies, check out this ride, huh? Yeah! I'm off to make trouble for the establishment. Oh my god, Lois! I can't see! Uh, how about now? Nope, nothing. Well, that makes me feel much better. You can't see the spaceship either. My cousin Marshall insists if you look past the picture, you can see a space. Oh my god, Lois, I'm blind as a bat! I can't see a damn thing! You know what else you can't see? The writing on the wall. Vaudeville's dead. And TV's the box they're gonna bury it in. Back then, everybody had a specialty. I, for one, am a tumbler. Watch me leap through this big hoop. Ooh. Vamp! Vamp! We're all gonna have to pitch in. Play me off, Johnny! <laughs> I miss the olden days whenever you messed up, like your homeboy could just play the piano and people will just forget about it immediately because most of people are lemmings. And I can't really talk no smack, man. My attention span is, is, is not as long as people would think. I'm telling you, if I, I could be out here doing reactions. If I see an entertaining enough squirrel run across my lawn, I'll forget what I'm doing for months. You know what I mean? Sometimes longer, you know? That's, it's, just, it's just rough out there for a, for a pimp.
Pimp name Sweet Meat. <laughs> and help your father out now that he's lost his sight. Now the only thing anybody's gonna remember me for after I die is being that blind guy. Don't give up yet, Peter. I mean, many blind people lead rich, fulfilling lives. Oh, I don't know, Brian. I mean, I guess I can give it a shot. Oh my god! I almost didn't do it! I almost didn't do it! I thought, is this in bad taste? But you know what? I went for it! I went for it, and I am so glad I did! Oh, worth it! Totally worth it! Lois, honey? Dad? That's right. I'm your daddy. Shh, 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 shh. Don't talk, Lois. Don't talk. Just let me do all the work. Yeah. Now feel my warm breath on the nape of your neck. My hands on your big, soft boobs running down your big man-like... Holy crap, it's Chris! Finish all your subjects? Yes, sir. Good. Just, uh, just checking. Oh! Peter, what the hell is that? Ah, uh, this is my C&I dog, Brutus. What do you need a seeing eye dog for? Well, because I can't do anything for myself, Brian. I can't drive, I don't know when to cross the street, and I took a dump in a church confessional, which I guess they frown upon if you're not homeless. I haven't felt this out of place since that week I lived with Superman. We must stop Lex Luthor before he irradiates the world's supply of gold. Uh, hi. Uh, sorry. I know you got a meeting going on, but, um, just putting it out there, if you're heading to the store later, uh... You know, 800-mile uh, drive for me, like, uh, five seconds for you. Whatever, I'm not here. Oh, uh, let me light that for you, babe. Wow. Yeah, magic fingers. <laughs> Jesus Christ! What? Get the Escalade, we're out of here. Hey, Horace, um, I'll have a Pawtucket Patriot. Uh. So, how's your hammer hanging? Hey, somebody's smoking in here? You know, I was watching, and I'm wondering... Which one is the funny guy? Uh, Peter! Grab my hand! Jeez, Horace, you've been drinking? Grab it and pull! And here comes the heroic blind man. Tell us, sir, how did you summon the courage to save your friend from that burning building? That freaking place was on fire? And there you have it. Coming up next, watch me shave. Oh, I am so proud of you for saving Horace's life. You know, Brian, I guess I was. And you know what else? People are gonna remember me for this. Hey, Meg, what are you up to? Not much. Just finished an angel food cake. Might go out to the trash, see if there's any possums to kiss. I was just out there. Can't be worse than waving at someone who doesn't wave back at you. No, not you. Oh, sorry. In fact, everyone but you. Hi, everyone but him. Hi. Time to get creepy. Huh, kid family. Wow, that looks like a rocky relationship. Rocky relationship. Ha-ha! <laughs> Come on, Brian. Well, I've tried everything. We just don't have anything in common with these guys. Maybe we don't need anything in common with them. Ugh! Meg, come on, don't go crazy. What the f What is it? What is that? <gasps> he was gay the whole time! Oh my god. What the hell is going on over there? Did he? Hello? Hey, Stewie, it's me. You got a second? Brian? Oh, hang on. Hey, keep it down, you screwballs. Here, let me just go some... A couple of rolls of toilet paper, could you? Stewie? I'm here. I just wanted you to have to sit with those words for a minute. Kids, dinner's ready. So I said, you guys should call yourselves the Trans Fats. <laughs> Meg, you'll sit next to me this evening. But, Dad! I'm sorry, Chris, you've fallen out of favor. Perhaps forever. Do it! You know, there are some bad people in this world. Hey, you don't gotta tell me that. I learned that in Fight Club. All right, Stewie, what's the first rule of Fight Club? G-string underwear. No, it's don't talk about Fight Club. Oh. You've been drinking, haven't you? No! Uh oh Jeez, Mom, get off my back. 
Nikita, I think she's doing booze. What should we do? Lois, she's just being a teenager. We, we don't know she's, like, for sure, definitely been drinking. That, but it's a fun character. <laughs> but this is serious. Alcoholism runs in our family. Hey, I'm just glad something runs in this family. <laughs> I don't mean to... <laughs> I, I don't mean to laugh, okay? But, but that was fun. Something I gotta deal with. Like the flush of a high-powered toilet. <laughs> You ever get bags under your eyes? What? I've been using this eye cream. It's done wonders for me. It's made by a company called Rodan and Fields. Have you heard of them, Brian? Yeah, I, I think, uh... Oh, they make terrific stuff. A guy standing by himself in the ocean. Hey, are you peeing? No. Are you pooping? I'm just trying to enjoy the day. Why don't you go bother that guy? Summer's blown by, huh? Since jugs are just slamming into you, you don't have a care in the world, and, and if all of it came to an end right then and there, so be it. Well, you're my daughter, and I don't want any of that for you. Hey, you want to see where I was sitting when you were born? Wow, that's really good. Right? Jerome, make it too! Oh, good. Oh, crap. Oh, my, that was close. Dad? Dad, wake up! All right, what happened? I don't know. We must have stolen this boat last night. I have no idea where the hell we are. Oh, no, my cell phone's dead. I, got I mean it, Dad. This is serious. I did pants instead. Ugh, I don't feel so hot. What is wrong with me? Have you taken a break since you started drinking? Not until right now. Do you feel like lying on the couch? He's not loud or quiet. He's not memorable, but, but I know who he is. <gasps> Thanks, Dad. I feel so much better. But you know who doesn't? Chris O'Donnell. Bye, dildo. Hey, what can I do for you? What do you want from me? Listen, it, it, it's, it's not what you think. Then what is it? Well, I'm, um, I'm actually doing a documentary about some of the finest principles in the country, and... Ow! <laughs> What's the matter, Rook? Too heavy for you? I've actually been a cop for years. I have tummy cancer. Oh. Weird way to say that. What the hell? Have you ever heard of a company called Rodan and Fields? Uh, are all hangovers this bad? Yep, that's the deal you make with the gods of fun. Oh, I'm glad to hear that. And I'm sorry I pushed it on you. I just... I just wanted to watch TV. I don't want to see you waste opportunities because you were out partying. That's what I did. The actual Chris O'Donnell is not a Coast Guard helicopter pilot. We assume he's probably too short. Oh my god, Brian, are you okay? All the food they recovered from Principal Shepard's fridge. So, you really want me to come home? You're still gonna serve that food? Of course we do. Hey, where's everyone else? Oh my god, pee drinking. Yeah, I think I'd rather live my life as a loser than feel bad once in a while. Well, I hope you know that you're our loser. Thanks. Oh! <laughs> I'm so excited for Brian. Remember, kids, if it's terrible, at the end we all say, you did it. I can't believe we're going to the theater the same day Chris drowned. <laughs> oh, I'm so proud of Brian. It's hard to believe he's the same dog who barked at a pineapple for four hours. Close your purse, I can see your tampons. And why do you need six? What happened? Because that will determine Ooh. whether or not I bring this empty Gatorade bottle into the theater. This is unacceptable! Oh, sorry, guys, I gotta go. They didn't put masking tape over a seat for Tom Tucker, and he's in there pitching a fit. Do you know who I am? I'm Tom Tucker, dammit! I make... We'll talk about this at home. <sighs> Let's see, who's in this thing? Oh, he's smashing a whole auditorium chair. Well, hope it gives good neck. Sad, nobody, sad, sad, nobody. Victor Garber? Well, that's pretty good. How did he get Victor... A suck for one of us. Donna, it's Grant, your new husband. Hi, honey. I've got great news. What is it? First, where do we keep the good scotch? 
at your brother's house. Oh! I just got that. She's smashing his brother. He must have got the part. When he going to meet Evita? Not every play is Evita. Oh, no. I feel terrible. Why? Don't you want to go? No. I got you a parka. <laughs> Goodbye, Grant. It's funny, isn't it? All these years, I was the passing fancy. Energy bar mitzvah clown. Ooh, what's this? A quarter? I found it behind your ear earlier. All right, that's enough tricks for you. I'm gonna go lie down on the coats. Amazing, Brian. How do you feel? You're a hit. It's overwhelming. This is all I've ever wanted, you know, for people to appreciate and respect my writing. I want to write a play. Oh, that's cute, Stewie. Maybe someday. When you're done talking to your friend, I want to, uh, uh I want to talk to you about that thing. What the? Hey, what? I know, I know crack when I see it. <laughs> what you doing? I was gonna start rehearsing my new play. Wanna hear it? Oh, you actually wrote it. It's all great. W do you think you might have time to read it? <sighs> all right, all right, but be patient. All right, I've got interviews and appearances all week. I mean, they're, they're squeezing every last drop they can out of me like a bottle of ketchup. I mean, what's a rainbow's process? Two parts rain, one part sun, one part childlike wonder. What we do know, though, is that the end result in both cases is joy. It's miraculous. Hey, Brian, can you read my play? Sorry, there was a fee. He wrote it in a night. Ugh, that's how I feel whenever I see Brad Goreski on Bravo. God, everyone's on Bravo but me. Anywho, have you told him how good it is? No, I just read it. He gave it to me because he wanted my feedback. It may have been real butter. Your husband murdered oh. children. Yeah, murder of three children is not. It doesn't matter what type of butter is after that. Brian, get in here! What? Your play has been nominated for a local. Get a chance to read my play? Uh, I did. I did. Ooh, I'm so nervous. What do you think? Stewie, you and I are friends, right? Yeah, I mean, I know you through our mutual friend Greg, but sure, I'd say we're friends now. Exactly. You're down easy like I did. New York can be pretty harsh, especially to outsiders. Hello, New York! <laughs> Oh! Uh, maybe you're right. I'll think about it. Anyway, can I have that back? It's my only copy. Your only cop. Hey. Who the hell are you? I'm the guy Stewie pays to watch him sleep. Who are you? I'm Brian. I live here. Oh. I've seen your play, and it is exhilarating to me. A child's play is one of the most beautiful things in the world. Continue to play, little one. You're our future. What the you talking about the play I wrote have you seen tired cliches you have no idea how hard it was to sit in that theater with all those braying hyenas couldn't you tell something was up when Chris and the fat man could follow the plot I mean it took Peter a year to figure out Stuart Little Did even do that well shut up may every person that laughs at your sophomore be a reminder of your eternal mediocrity and pierce your heart like a knife Donna, it's Grant, your new husband. Hi, honey. I've got great news. What is it? First, where do we keep the good scotch? At your brother's house. <laughs> Lois! Besides, I check, and there's no play by Stewie Griffin opening in New York. I submitted it under a pseudonym. They think it was written by Tony Dovolani. I thought your pseudonym was Gorgeous Randy Flamethrower. That's my dodgeball pseudonym. Look, if you won't take me, I'm sure the New York... Hey! And this is our Uzbekistani friend, Boykyav Roycheskyu. Stewie, don't you think? Pretty damn impressed. Oh, thank you, David. David, this is Brian. Brian David. Oh, it's an honor. Listen, I just want to say what an inspiration Glen Gary Glen Ross was to me when I was writing my own play. Easy. Is that Tony Dovolani? Hello. Alan B Rhode Island. You're kidding. We just went and saw a play in Quahog, Rhode Island. Really? Have you ever heard of A Passing Fancy? I have. Oh, my God, what a load of rubbish. <laughs> we have this thing where we go to the worst region. Oh, there you are. That 
was the worst night of my life. It's not like you were the only fat guy in there. What? Oh, this is about the play, sorry. I was so happy to be good. There's your voice, Brian. It's a depressing voice, but it's yours. Right from that. Uh, listen, me and the other playwrights are going out to have drinks with Woody Allen and his daughter wife. You want to come? The whole thing up? But how? You... Wait. D did you do that for me? What are you talking about? I'm a young writer. I just wasn't as ready as I thought I was. Maybe in a couple of years. Who knows? Okay, okay, I got one. Would you rather have dinner and then sex with Megan Fox's body with Leonard Nimoy's head on it? That's exactly not what I was hoping would be the situation, but I'm still down. Like, you know. Or re-roof an entire condo complex by yourself. Oh, boy. Can I close my eyes? No, eye contact the whole time and a lot of kissing. Absolutely not. I'm not doing this. No, not without payment. But Megan Fox's head on Leonard Nimoy's body. I know, somehow that's better. The hybrid organism exists as I've described it. How many units are in the condo? 32. You have got yourself a roof. I'll take the Spock Fox intercourse. All right, Peter, your turn. Uh, boxers or briefs? What? That's the worst one I've ever heard. Look, I'm sorry, I'm exhausted, all right? I didn't get any sleep because Brian and the neighbor's dog kept me up all night. Hello? 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 Are you a dog? Yes! Oh, wow. If you're that tired, Peter, maybe you should have some coffee. Yeah, you could have some Red Bull. Red Bull? What the hell is Red Bull? You never heard of Red Bull? It's an energy drink. Here you go, Peter. It's on the house. So, what do you think? Good evening. Our top story tonight, Barack Obama makes a visit to James Woods High School. Yes, it's time to get jiggy with it, Quahog. I oh, thought we had taken that- Oh, you mother- <laughs> You son of a- Oh my- <laughs> That is possibly the most and least racist thing he's gonna said at that moment. Oh, wow. Taking that out, President Barack Obama will visit James Woods High next month, and this little town of ours couldn't be more abuzz. Oh my god, this is gonna be so amazing! It's all anybody in my class is talking about. Darn it, why is this so hard? Chris, this is just a shaded and triangle in the word month. For God's sakes, Meg, it's a first draft. Just tell me if you think the tone is right. Well, I don't know what this is, but it's not what hope is about, Chris. Well, if you're such a genius, you tell me what hope is. Hope is what gets you out of bed in the morning when it's the day of prom and you haven't been asked. Hope is a horizon we head for. That is the most depressing thing I've ever heard in my entire life. Like, and now we all know why everybody hates Meg. Like, oh boy. Leaving nothing behind us but fear. And though we may never reach our goals, it's hope that will save us from who we once were. Wow, did you learn that at school? No, you can't just learn creative writing, Chris. It's gotta be inside you. Mom, oh my God! How far inside are you? We gonna edit that out. What? Oh God, you scared the out of me. You know that essay about hope I had to write? Well, the principal said it was the best one in the class and he wants me to read it aloud to introduce the president. Ah, oh, Chris, that's incredible. Remember when I used to come to school to wipe you and I'd say someday I won't have to wipe you anymore and you'll do great things? I wrote that! You stole this from me! Hey, you didn't say I couldn't use it. But now you get to meet the President of the United States because of what I wrote! Oh, I bet you don't even know what his first name is. I don't know. Mike? Oh, hey, 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 watch out, party people. Ah, oh, what the hell are these things? Curtains or something? Boring. Holy smoke, it's crowded in here. Hey! Yeah, oh, that's terrific. That opens up the whole room. Peter, there you are. Where the hell have you been? I've been worried sick. Oh, so I had a few Red Bulls, drove to New York. What's a big deal? Hey, here's my little man. <laughs> Done. Wow, Dad, that was pretty cool. Can I try some Red Bull? Oh my God, can you try some Red Bull? Chris, I take it as an insult if you didn't. Here you go, have some cans. One, two, three, four, five, go on. Take up, take up, take up, take up, take up, take up, take up. Ah, that's what Woody Woodpecker says. All right, I'm gonna go outside and milk the cow. Whoa, boy, that Red Bull's some strong stuff.
Everybody, welcome back to The Price is Right. Time to spin the wheel. Top winner for the day is Peter, so you're going to be the first to spin it. Go ahead, Peter. Close as you can to a dollar without going over. All right, while we're waiting for the wheel to spin, you want to say hi to anybody? Oh, yeah, Drew, I want to say hi to Lois, Brian, Chris, Dewey, Meg, Joe, Bonnie, Quag, Mike, Cleveland, Mort, Seamus, Adam West, Dr. Hart. <laughs> Whoa, paramedics, come on down! Oh! <laughs> no! What? Why the hell would you do that? It was making you crazy, and it's not good for you. That's why I poured it all out in the garden. <laughs> Official flower business. <laughs> oh! Whoa, whoa, hang on, you're adding kerosene? Peter, that's insane. That'll destroy your body. Kerosene is fuel, Brian. Red Bull is fuel. Kerosene is Red Bull. Now, why don't you leave me alone while I'm doing my important work? Peter, that drink will kill you. Brian, whatever kills me makes me stronger. Oh, why does that sound like something that Takashi 69 would say? <laughs> whatever kills me makes me stronger. It's not a good creed to live by. <sighs> See, Brian? I feel great. Dr. Hartman, please tell me, is my husband going to be all right? Uh, Cancun, actually. Thanks for asking. Just got back. Mrs. Griffin, I'm afraid all the toxic chemicals your husband ingested from his homemade energy drink have caused total kidney failure. <gasps> what the... <gasps> <gasps> How was Cancun? We'll put him on a kidney transplant list, but that could take months. Until a donor is found, he's going to have to undergo dialysis treatments three times a week. Dialysis? Is there any other way? Yes, there is. No, 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 no. We'll, 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 we'll do the dialysis. Yes, there is. <laughs> what? As Quahog prepares for the arrival of President Barack Obama, it will be a very big day for one local teenager who will be reading his essay to introduce the president. I sat down with accomplished wordsmith Chris Griffin. Hope is a horizon we head for, leaving nothing behind us but fear. Chris, tell me how those words came to you. Do you believe in angels, Tom? Of course I do. Well, there you go. I suspected angels. It was angels. Very good. Oh, Chris, we are so proud of you. I, I gotta admit, Chris, this is pretty exciting. When did you become so coherent? Mom, I wrote that! He stole it and he's taking all the credit! Chris, is that true? You didn't write anything! This is my essay! Meg, is that true? No! He's lying! That should be me getting to meet the president! Meg, for God's sake, relax. You're not the first person to be outshined by a sibling. What about the third Bronte sister? Coming up next, Charles in Charge. Oh my God! Oh, I want to watch this, but I got stupid dialysis at three. I am so sick of this crap mucking up my life. Well, Peter, I mean... What, you can get away with skipping one treatment, right? I mean, that's not going to kill you. Yeah, it's probably just like missing an antibiotic. You just take the next one. Yeah, you're probably right. Besides, it's Charles in charge. Didn't she bang somebody gross? I don't know. Yeah, I feel like she banged somebody gross. You know, I heard the sweater budget on this show was 200 grand. Didn't you tell me that, Peter? Oh, my God. Peter, you don't look so good. What are you talking about? I feel great. Like I could go another 20 years or more. A new kidney now. Well, as I said, Mrs. Griffin, he's on a list, but there are a lot of people ahead of him. Well, what are the chances of getting him moved up the list? Honestly, not great. Could be months before he can get a transplant. Unless you know someone who's a compatible organ match and would be willing to donate one of theirs. I'll do it. He could have one of my kidneys. Well, we always check spouse records for compatibility. I'm afraid you're not a match. Well, the only other option is your children. No, I won't put the kids through that. Well, then I don't know what else to do. You'll just have to roll the dice and hope a kidney comes through soon. Well, what about me? Is that possible, Doctor? Well, I suppose. Stranger things have happened in medicine. Brian, are, are, you, are you sure about this? Well, there's no harm in seeing if I'm compatible. Well, according to these results, Brian is a match. Boy, yeah, ice cream sounds great. The only thing is, Mrs. Griffin, could I speak with you and Brian alone, please? Well, of course. Well, as a dog, Brian's kidneys are smaller and don't have the capacity of a human kidney. For the procedure to work, we would need to transplant two. But, Ooh. but I only have two. That's right. The procedure would kill you. Ah, that car's getting towed. Oh. 
all. I'll... I'll do it. I'll give you my kidneys. But, Brian, you'll die. Peter, you're my best friend. You, you gave me a home when I didn't have one, and you've treated me like a family member ever since. I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for Sad you. Sad part. I'm, I'm willing to give that up so yep. you can have another 40. Yep. Mm -hmm. Brian, I, I, I don't know. First of all, he'd probably only be getting like an extra five to seven max. Yeah, I mean, he's not the healthiest. Deshay, you're saving my life. Well, you saved mine. And hey, we, we had a lot of good years together, right? Yeah, we, uh, we sure did, buddy. Hello, everyone. Lois, did you put Stewie to bed? Yeah, he's asleep. Good. I'd rather he didn't know about this till it's over. He's just a baby. Now, since the operation is tomorrow, I thought it might be a good idea to just kind of close the book, you know? I only ask this because of the dire situation I'm in, but can I, can I hump your leg for 15 uninterrupted seconds? I suppose so, Brian. He is gonna die. No! It can't be! Might as well bust that last nut. You know what I'm saying? Onto her leg. Stewie, what the hell? Are you out of your mind? I most certainly am not. I know what you're planning to do and I won't allow it. You're not gonna kill yourself for that fat bastard. Look, I've made up my mind, all right? Now untie me. No, I will not! How dare you make plans to abandon me! Come on, you, you can live without a dog, Stewie, but you can't live without a father. And besides, how exactly do you think we're supposed to live here on the playground? Can you believe it, Brian? We, we have a summer home! I mean, yes, we'll, we'll have to rent it out some years to help pay for- Oh, no, wait! No, we won't, because I'm a famous race car driver, I forgot! Stewie, you're not a race car driver. And if you don't let me go right now, you're gonna lose your dad. <laughs> oh my god, just stop, stop, just stop it. Brian, I love you! <laughs> oh god, just wipe your nose, man. I love No, no, just wipe. I oh god, there's Brian, no Kleenex. I I love go, you go, so go roll much. around no. in the sandbox no. in the summer house. Go, go to the summer house no. and roll around. No, no, no. Hey, what do you say you'll be my dog one last time, huh? Sure, Peter, whatever you want. Hey, hey, what's that? What's that, boy? What's that? Uh, surgical equipment. Who's is that? Who's is that? Probably belongs to the hospital. What's that for, huh? What's that for? Um, cutting me open, harvesting my organs, and killing me. You gonna go get it? You gonna get it, boy? No, I think, I think the doctors need it. Can, can, can we just lay here? Well, you see, Mrs. Griffin, I found another donor for your husband. You did? Oh! Me. What? It turns out I'm a perfect match. And I'm willing to give up one of my kidneys. Oh my God, Doctor Hartman! Is a very talented young man, James Wood's own Chris Griffin. Thank you, Principal Shepard. My sister Meg will be helping me introduce the president since we wrote this essay together. What is hope? by Chris and Meg Griffin. Hope is what gets you out of bed in the morning when it's the day of prom and you haven't been asked. Hope is a horizon we head for, leaving nothing behind us but fear. And, and though, though we, we may, may never reach our goals, it's hope, hope that, that will save, save us from who we once were. were. Ladies and gentlemen, President, President Barack Mike Obama! Obama. You Gotta be sincere. Absolutely not. We now return to Lego Spotlight. Oh! I'm not sure we should be letting Stewie watch this. It's Lego, it's fine. Yeah, you're right. Brian, that Lego movie kind of scared me. Ah, oh, don't worry about it, Stewie. It's all make believe. <laughs> ah, Lego! Lego! Sounds terrible. Yeah, you can't just play one note over and over. Well, our music teacher quit and was replaced by a back east bird. Oh. Well, 
Well, I'm gonna have to talk to Principal Shepard about this. Great. Every kid loves seeing their mom inside their high school. Well, I'm sorry, but music is an important part of your education. You don't want to mess this up, like Skilo messed up his wishes. Uh, I wish I was a little bit taller. I wish I was a baller. I wish I had a rabbit in a hat with a bat. Skilo? What? You need money. It's actually pretty good. You want to see me, Mrs. Griffin? Um, yes, to discuss the music program. Right, right, of course. Sorry, I was just testing these candles for a lie I can't think of right now. My son is being taught by a bird. Ah, Miss Wilkins. No, Mr. Mason. Right, a lot of open windows in this school. You need a real music teacher. I'm a trained piano player, and I've taught lessons for years. I'd love to come work for you. You would? Well, that changes everything. I'm not gonna have sex with you. I know. I just farted. <laughs> uh, I give him that one. I really love how he tried the Harvey Weinstein situation, though. Oh, you down to work for me? <laughs> well, you know what that means. <laughs> oh. So, everyone, I have an announcement to make. I'm gonna be the new music teacher at Adam West High. Please say you're joking. I'm not joking. I start Monday. Hold on. That's a marriage timeout. I I think Dad did this wrong. Yeah, um, are we supposed to be the frozen ones? Dad's a loser. Yeah, he sucks. Stop it. Why, he can't hear us. But I could hear them, and it hurt. Turns out, if you're gonna learn how to stop time in wizard school, don't leave class early to be the first first in line for lunch. It was pizza day. Good morning, class. So, you know... <laughs> I'm your new music teacher, Mrs. Griffin. And I started from the bottom, now I'm here. I think that counts as a laugh. <laughs> no, it does. Thanks a lot. <laughs> Dang it. Couldn't do it. That is so awful. You didn't make it three minutes. Bruh. Oh, this is so bad. So, rap. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god, you're so lame. I know you are, but what am I? Lame. Okay, we'll call that one a tie. What is music to you? Stupid. Connie, you're just afraid, so you lash out. I get you, because I was you. Headstrong, full of anger, and a body that looked like it stepped right out of Red Book magazine. Is that good? Yes, that's good. You don't know. Shut up. You were never me. Oh, no? Look down at your desk. LG. Lois Griffin. Wait, but weren't you Lois Pewterschmidt back then? Meg, go to the principal's office. Oh! It also has LG on it. Mine too. They all do. Okay, okay. I didn't know where the troublemaker was going to sit. Mr. Mason's gone. Sweetie, it's the middle of the day. What happened? <whistles> oh, no. Well, I hope this doesn't affect our plan to have eggs. <whistles> you wanted this to happen! <laughs> oh man, that's hilarious. So, Lois, how was your first big day teaching? You pull a Mary Kay Letourneau? <laughs> no, Peter. I didn't leave my family to have sex with a 12-year-old boy named Vili Fualao. Get arrested for... Give birth to his child in prison, get out, get arrested again for humping him in a car when he was 13. Have his second kid in jail, get out, get married to him. Change my name to Mary Kay Laterno Fualau. Live my life as a disgraced sex offender and then get dumped by him? No, I didn't do that. But I did have a little trouble in Meg's class because of that brat Connie D'Amico. She's a classic entitled mean girl slut. Connie D'Amico? She stopped by to see you yesterday. She did? What'd she say? She said you're gullible. And? Hmm, Connie D'Amico. The name sounds familiar. I better go check Meg's yearbook. Pages 4, 6, 11, 27, 41, 42, and 60 to see if it's the babe I'm thinking of. Lois, I'll take my dessert upstairs in the... Uh, maybe I'm not cut out to teach high school kids. I thought I could handle their nonsense, but I just kind of froze today with Connie. Yeah, hang it up. You gave it a day. That's nonsense, Lois. You just have to be more of an authority figure. If Connie gets out of line again, don't be afraid to show her who's boss. 
like I did with those squirrels. Hey, neighborinos. Um, so not a huge deal, but if you guys could keep your chittering down, I'm trying to get some writing done in the house. Oh, yeah, yeah, no, no problem, bro. Also, maybe you could go your own face. Eh? Could that be good? <laughs> yeah! <laughs> okay. All right, thanks, guys. Stewie, what are you doing here? I followed you into your cutaway because I didn't believe you showed anyone who's boss. And I was right. Did you get a sleeve tattoo of Freddie Mercury? Yeah, it's a cutaway. I know, some of you kids... I blatantly lost that one part of the lab, but since then I've been doing good, straight-faced. So, in your faces. I think this class has nothing to do with your day-to-day -day lives, but you couldn't be more wrong. Music tells the story of our lives. For example, this morning I woke up and saw it was a sunny day. Then I had some tea, which was from China. On my way out the door, the kitty cat ran across my piano. Get off of there, kitty cat. <laughs> then I drove to work. Ooh. But then I hit some traffic. Ooh. That was caused by a parade. Ooh. But gay rights. Ooh. And finally, I got to school early and diarrhea in the girls' locker room. That was the only good part of that. The end. You suck! <laughs> <laughs> That's it, Connie. To the principal's office. Now! Okay, for the rest of the class, I will wait for the bell. And then I will suddenly talk much louder and faster as you're heading out the door, okay? And remember, there's a quiz a week from Wednesday. Oh, man. Oh, God, that means you heard me. This is how Hollywood thinks school teachers talk. Connie, I've asked Mrs. Griffin to be here since it was her class you disrupted. And I'm sorry to say this is your third strike this year. According to school policy, three strikes means you're expelled. What? Principal Shepard, I'm not sure that's necessary. I'm sorry. I've made my decision. Now, if you ladies don't mind stepping out, I have to reprimand Danny McBride next. Mr. McBride, do you know why you're here? Yeah, maybe because I'm awesome and you're a gay homosexual and also the word jet ski a lot. <laughs> yeah, you know why you're here. I feel kind of bad about getting Connie expelled, but maybe this will make her realize she needs to be more respectful to others. Yeah, probably not. She's really hot. Hey, Lois, I just got an invite for a Facebook group you started called Keep Harriet Tubman Off the $20 Bill. What? I haven't even been on Facebook today. Wow, your profile pic is now just the word veterans with a circle and a line through it. I mean, that's the way I feel about ghosts, but veterans? Mom, this is Connie getting back at you. It's called cyberbullying. <laughs> Cyberbullying? Me? By the way, Vili Fualao is now a DJ in Seattle. Boy, Connie must really mean business. Like an Armenian kid in a candy store. Hey, little boy. Can I help you? Yes, I wish to buy business and turn into car wash. Because shortly after lunch, there'll be a fire drill. And when you go out to wait for the bus, mm, go in orderly fashion or your hair will get mussed. You suck! No, you suck. I can't hear you. I just presume somebody must have yelled, you suck. Like when you find out a buttoned-up librarian is actually super sexy. Bars. Excuse me, ma'am. Yes? Drinking and eating garbage. I'm glad we all took a mental health day. Hey, where'd everybody go? I don't know where they went, but someone's got to pay this check. Damn it, they left without me and now I'm stuck with the bill? He's loud. If he were down there, we'd know it. I ain't got no toenails, no how. Hey, everybody, guess what? Chance of winning. We gotta be at that school tomorrow to help pick up the pieces when he loses. Oh, my hot pocket! Oh, it's hot! Hence the name Hot Pocket. Literally.
And if you elect me, I will be as good a homecoming king as a touchdown. Unfortunately, Jason Bourne is not available. Who have we got? We have the sixth build guy from the Avengers. The arrow guy who frowns a lot. Uh, okay. Does he look like Bourne? Yeah, yeah. He sort of looks like a young Popeye. Hey! <laughs> Yay! Holy crap! I don't believe it! Chris won! All right, now it's time for these four poor kids to thank you for subsidizing their lunches. Thank you. Powers! Oh, very good, very good, my liege. Well, Chris, since you're royalty now, I made your favorite. Dinner for breakfast? That's right, pork chops and French onion soup. Oh, boy! Well, as kid... They're just trying to embarrass him and make him look stupid. You don't really think they're going to pull a prank on Chris, do you? I don't know. But if they are, we gotta get down to that school and talk him out of it. Good idea. And luckily, I'm great at connecting with that generation. Like when I went on that... It's just a story. Well, I guess that means... These aren't real! Ah! <laughs> yeah, they're gonna die in the woods. Simon, are they tagged? They're tagged, right? Oh, they're tagged. Good. Simon, did I ever tell you the one about the loose-fitting T-shirt? I don't know if it's working, Peter. I don't know if it's fun. It's more than fun. It's foon. That's a fun way to say fun. Hey, how foon would it be if we waved sticks around? I, I really don't know what we're doing. It's foon from the word before. I don't see what... Ah! B. You gotta press B. I'm pressing B. He's too fast. Going over here? Oh. Going over here now? Ooh. Never get tired. Change your guy, Quagmire. Change your guy. I'm trying. Peter's cheating. You're cheating, Peter. I'm not cheating him. Who's Varys? You gotta switch off Varys. Get it to Ronnie Lott. Pretty much anyone but Varys. Oh, no. I'm all the way back here now. I'm in my own end zone. What am I doing? A zag. A touchdown. What the? Yeah. I won the game. And now I'm gonna jump. Bo Jackson. All right, if we want to get Cleveland back, we should just put out his favorite snack. Good evening, white guys who weigh less than their girlfriends. Oh! Hey, that's hurtful. God, a lot of gym teachers soup. Went in the girls' room with you two. I mean, <laughs> that would be that would be so wild. We should we should totally just go in there. Brian, stop. That'd be hilarious. I'm in. Should we go wait in the car? No, we are here to get information about Chris. I and go wait in the car. Bagger Vance. I also am Bagger Vance. I'm Kazam from Kazam. You really think I'm only hanging out with Jerome because he's black? I hang out with Jerome because unlike some people, he actually takes an interest in my life. The student body has made their homecoming a special event for a very special boy. And this year's James Woods High homecoming king is Chris Griffin. Yay! <laughs> They challenged! Kind of like we did with George W. Bush, huh? <laughs> right? <sighs> I guess. I guess, Brian. I, I, don't, I don't know. Let's, let's just watch some commercials. On a right and natural turn of events. Now, if you'll excuse me, I shall select three things from Stewie's room that I wish to be mine. There's a book in there on how to eat healthy. Why don't you take that, you fat bitch? Oh! Well, obviously... <laughs> Well, now we know. Neither of us likes crepes. See, that's another thing we got in common. In fact, you want to hear something crazy? Peter and the fellas think... I'll see you around, Cleveland. Man, I guess this whole friendship was a bad idea. Just like Goodyear's advertising strategy. All right, we have $14 million to play with. I say we spend it all on blimps. <laughs> You're just jealous because you've never done anything that deserves being elected king. Okay, you want to know the truth? They only picked you because they felt sorry for you. Sorry? Why would they feel sorry for me? How you text somebody who literally is in the next room? Bruh. It's the blood of my enemies! We believe in you! Good for you, Chris! No one clap too loud, we don't want to frighten him. Wait a minute. And now, your queen, prom night car crash victim, Kathleen Fitzpatrick. She was on PCP that night, you idiots! Oh! Chris, I'm so sorry. This is Tyler. Don't make this weird now. Oh, what a gentleman! <laughs> Y'all ever had that happen to y'all?
a girl that you didn't even want come and try to flaunt a different dude in front of you? Like, somehow that'll make you mad that the girl you didn't want has someone else? I look at it as a blessing in disguise. That's, it's a beautiful thing. Now, she ain't got to be sniffing around me no more. From the corner, because that's a glitch in the software. Game on! All right, bring it up to court. And corner three! No, no, that's what I'm talking about! Steal! Up, corner three! What I'm talking about, now I'm playing for real. Yeah, you're doing pretty good. What play should I call now? Maybe corner three! He's hot. He is hot. Keep feeding that guy. Hi, nice to meet you. Can I have that? Hang out over here for a second. That's how you're supposed to play, boys and girls. Corner three. We now return to Captain Central America. It worked! Gracias. What are my powers? And, and three pigs living together? Gay. You know? And so is the wolf. He's chasing pigs and blowing everything in sight. Peter, what are you doing? I'm just getting ready for bed. What's wrong? You're, you're naked. I'm, I'm right here. Who cares? You're my dog. Hey, Megan. Oh, hey, guys. Wait, did you just call me Megan? That's your name, isn't it? Well, actually, Meg is short for something else. Peter, would you give this to the nurse? Uh-huh. Oh! Man, he looks mean. You're very judgmental lately. Do, 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 taking a shower, taking a little break to bite at the water. Is it bad that I do that in showers too? Yeah! Two kitties. Hey, you guys want to sleep over this weekend? My moms are going out of town to a scrapbooking clam bake retreat. What are they going to do? Oh, fudge. Only I didn't say fudge. I said Audience roots for the horse with the cutest name. And they're off. It's Battleaxe, followed by Redbeard, followed by Bishop, followed by Smiling Pink Bear. Oh my god, that's my horse. And on the outside, here comes Tiny Kitten Kisses. No, no, that one. And here comes It's Bedtime. Oh, my money's on Kitten Kisses. That's real. Must be on my desk by Thursday. Also, Zach Morris, if you could stop freezing time to talk to the camera, the day would go a lot faster. Oh my god, you guys, what am I gonna do? Boobs. That's a shame. <laughs> Ten years if it's been a day. No. 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 I figured out how to get out of this fight. All I have to do is get expelled. Beat up Mike Pulaski. Mental Mike? Are you kidding? Come on, guys. I'll do anything. I'll, I'll give you a swallow Friday. You mean a follow? A swallow? You might have to think about it after that one. Hello, Friday? Oh, I've been doing Twitter all wrong. Okay, okay, I'll, I'll just... Don't you need to phone home? Nah, I'll do it later. Brian Griffin? Uh, yeah, that's me. Here you go. Oh! Meg, are you okay? You guys, I've tried everything, but it's hopeless. He's going to kill me. I can already picture my funeral. Oh. Thanks, oh. didn't want to pay for Raj. I don't care. Good luck, Meg. Now we must retreat into the shadows. Yep, all your friends that y'all was your friends. Uh, wait till somebody more popular hates you. Then we'll we'll see how much friends they are. <laughs> what am I gonna do? Sounds like you have a pretty big problem, Meg. That's right. Be at my house first thing tomorrow morning and we'll get started. Wow, thanks, Mr. Quagmire. Well, I better get home. What a good way to get around town. Ugh, why aren't you drinking Coke, you dork? Pepsi would also be acceptable. It doesn't have to be a two-cola system. RC is what keeps the big guys on their toes. You know what RC stands for, don't you? Chicks rule. How a scr- <laughs> Totem can be stretched into a makeshift sail if stranded at sea. 
All this knowledge is gonna help you win your fight. Oh, thanks, Mr. Quagmire. I'll take any help I can get. I haven't been this scared since my dad stopped showering for six months. Message for Brian Griffin! <laughs> I lost my ass gambling. Have you seen it? Leave me alone, you jerk! Stewie, you gotta help me. Peter just won't let up with the nudity. Pick one. Who would be your favorite? Well, like I said, I'm not really familiar. You can just say the color. I know all the Care Bears. I, I don't know. The blue one. There's like 11 blue ones, Jeff. Are you here to dick around or you wanted to inside the actor's studio? Ah, they're fine. In fact, I see Stewie reading a book. Scratch and sniff. Lindsay Lohan goes jogging. No! Oh, God, that's terrible. Oh, here's a pop-up <laughs> book. Tommy Lee goes boating. Jeez, are we really living that close to the edge? You know we are, Brian. Why do you think we waited so long to take you to the groomers last month? Hey, isn't it time for me to get a haircut? Oh, no. I think you just got one. Are you sure? Because I feel like my nails are really long. Yeah, yeah, I'll check, but I'm pretty sure it's not for another couple of weeks. <clears throat> what day is this? Uh, Peter. Peter Griffin. And I'm Lois. Catch you later, Peter. Oh, he was really nice. Not like when I met that <sighs> Shelly Duvall. Nice to meet you. Big deal. Came right up to me like I was just dying to meet it. Peter, you're gonna have to let that one go. Well, it sounds to me like you're a regular Benedict Arnold Drummond. What, what's he expecting us to cut to? Uh, I think he wants maybe, I don't know, Gary Coleman and a Napoleon hat? But we don't have that. We, we gotta come up with something. Uh, well, we got, uh, we got the cowardly lion as Lindsay Lohan's gynecologist. Play it, play it. But he didn't set it up. Play it! All right, <laughs> I'm gonna check it for diseases. There's just one thing I want you to do. What's, what's that? that? Talk me out of it. No, 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 no. What the hell is going on up there? It just seems to me that perhaps it's time to think about retirement. Never! Retirement's for old people. I can work till I die. Maybe even after that. Mr. Pewterschmidt, the gentlemen from Zurich are here for your 10 o'clock. Will you need anything else? Mr. Pewterschmidt! <laughs> oh, I don't think it's like that, man. I don't think it's that bad. I hope it never gets like that, yo. Like, that's why I just let, you know, I usually just let girl put her hand on my titty. I just find it's a lot less, you know, because I mean, I'll be making, I'll be cracking jokes. But I really ain't gonna go to the police and be like, yo, man, she touched my area. Unless, like, she touch it and I try to push her hand off. She try to grab it or something. Like, that's that's a different situation. Like, yo, that's that's bad touch. Like, you just get punched right in the mouth for that one. I don't... Me Too movement go right out the window. I don't... That's the worst, you know? Especially if she don't know the direct pressure to apply. Like, just too eager. Yeah, you know I mean? well, no, eagerness is good. No, no, that's not, you know what I mean? Just not grip strength of a Yeti. I don't want that. Uh, we gonna edit all of this out, but, oh man, okay. <laughs> and that was weird. That was weird. Right? Oh my God, so weird. I tell you something, if he touches my daughter, I'm gonna be kicking butts and taking names. Y and what? giving those names to other people whose butts I kick. Yeah. <laughs> What's your name? Derek. What's your name? Michael. You're Derek now. I, I just, you know, sometimes taking things slower is better. Just ask any sloth. Hey, is sometimes taking things slower better? Yeah. You betcha. But I have to say, I thought you'd drive a fancier car. What? Why? Well, aren't you the Peter Griffin of Peter Griffin Cadillac? No, that's another guy. Hi, I'm Peter Griffin, and at Peter Griffin Cadillac, we believe in three things. Fair dealing, family, and friendship. I've lived in Quahog my whole life. I love it here. And you're gonna love a Peter Griffin Cadillac. Scumbag. Oh, come on, Stewie, hurry up. I want to get good seats. Ugh, I hate going to hear authors read from their work. That Dr. Seuss reading was dreadful. And when the drugs stopped numbing the pain, the sex became even more violent. It doesn't rhyme. The news <laughs> doesn't rhyme! <laughs> ah, that's Man, what's up. It's good to have some alone time. You know, I spent a year alone on a desert island with nothing but a monkey to keep me company. You're saved, sir. We're gonna get you back to civilization. And how about we bring along your monkey pal? Okay. Yeah, we can teach him sign language, and he can tell us stories about what you two did on the island together. No, 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 no. Let's let's not let's not bring the monkey. 
What are you talking about? This money is our ticket to the good life. Starting now. I just bought a giant room full of gold coins, and I'm gonna dive into it like Scrooge McDuck. Ah! It's not a liquid! It's a great many pieces of solid matter that form a hard floor-like surface! Ah! Yeah, I can't wait to fire all them city employees. Starting with that half-asleep construction worker. Don't ask me why, but for some reason when I hold, this food is so good that holding my silverware makes me dance like N.A. Lee Chopper. Sandwich flow, huh? That's a, that's a song. <laughs> I should hella make that song. What the hell? Which one is it? Stop or go forward? This is a big deal. They're not at all similar. Yeah, no, 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 no. You, sir, have lost my business. Um, excuse me. Excuse me. Boy, I wonder where the shampoos are around here. I said... I wonder where the shampoos are around here. Oh, for God's sake, I almost thought you were a regular person. Where's the shampoo? Chris has also been developing some very expensive tastes. Model glue, sir. Well, what do we have today? Today, we have a recent vintage procured just this morning from Michael's Hobby Shop. Yes, that's very nice. Bring me my finest rag. Your fancy rag, sir. You are relieved for the evening. <laughs> you don't see poor people doing this! But don't expect any miracle. That's like number three. I ain't even gonna lie to y'all. That was as funny as this food is good in this smack right now. That's real. I'm not good with confrontation. Like when I got stuck behind that giraffe at the ball game. Yeah! Nice hit! Frozen rope! Awesome! What just happened? Crown rule double! Woo! I couldn't even see it. Yeah, it was something. Ducks on a pond, let's bring them in! Could you please sit down? I am sitting down. You sit up. I am sitting up, but I still can't see a thing. Yeah, it sounds like a you problem. Let's go, socks! We now return to One Hour Crime Show, where the murderer is the most famous person in the credits. I think you're going to want to take a look at this. What do we got? Looks like somebody had a rough night out. Boy, you can say that again. Better get the coroner down here. He's still got his watch and his wallet. Guess that rules out robbery. Stabbed 17 times in the chest? I'd say the murderer knew the victim intimately. Oh, I thought Paris would be a bit more picturesque. Instead, it's just traffic and some big guy using a jackhammer. But, monsieur, this is not a jackhammer. It is a Jacques hammer. <laughs> it's almost Christmas. It's almost Christmas. Christmas? Yes. Keep being good, and all the eggshells and coffee grounds will be yours. Can I meet the family? You've overstepped. No Christmas. Oh, oh no, my hairless twin got out. Hello, family. Let's eat all the garbage we want. We, the jury, find the defendant, Orenthal James Simpson, not guilty. Yes. What the hell? What? Oh. Maybe we should get new roommates. Yeah, maybe we should. Did you like that game of mysterious intruder, Lois? I told you! I don't know who you are, and my name isn't Lois. Mine is. Do it again. <laughs> hey, bruh? Yeah? <laughs> Damn it! Ah! There's glass in my eye! Oh! Son of a ah! Mom says dinner's at six. She oh. wanted me to tell people. I don't know why. Step forward, maggot. Ah! Next time, that'll be you. Well, why wasn't it him this time? Oh, I'm so scared. No! Ah! Oh! Ah! Peter, stop it! Yeah, you're real big when you got that stick, ain't you? Okay, I'll stop now. Timmy, where's Lassie? She's out in the orchard, Mark. 
peaches are coming in mighty early this year. Smoke. You know what they say, Timmy. Early peaches, long summer. Smoke. What's that, Lassie? Are you smoking yet? Are you okay? No, I came in with my wife and now I can't find her. Oh, well, I'm sure she's here somewhere. Come on, I'll help you find her. Okay. Will Lois Griffin please come to the courtesy booth? We have a little gift for you. <laughs> I'm Lois. Oh, for God's sakes, Peter. Yay, Lois! Another afternoon f***ing that ass. Vegan places aren't real, right? No, they're not real. Or are they? Ah, salad! Ah! I want you two to do it right in front of me, and I'm going to throw 40 bucks on your sweaty bodies when you're done. What the? Let's see the money. Wow, see, just like a real man, he thought logically, you know what, I'm not gonna haul off and beat him because he wants to see my penis. I'm gonna get the money first, and then I'll hit him. Time it is, get in the house, fatty! Looking good, almost done, and there, done. <gasps> what have you done? I painted the truth. I painted my truth. Relax, Lois. I was aiming for the mailbox. I'm just trying to make a point. Good morning, Lois. Ah! Peter, for God's sake! I am so sorry, Mort. No problem, Lois. That's just how people say hello to me. Hey, Joe. Hey, Mort. Oh! No! 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 <laughs> that was a good one. That was a good one. Just looks up at that look is obviously a combination of who the hell do you think you are and what is wrong with you? I'm sorry. I got a little nervous. It's just I like you so much. Hi, Dad. Oh, what the hell? Come here, Hillary. Get out, man! Get out of the kitchen! Go on! Get out! 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 Out of the kitchen! Go on! Well, Stewie, come on. You don't know how to use that thing. Oh, uh, really? What if I hold it sideways like a black guy? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Come on, man. Take it easy, all right? I, I don't want any trouble. There's not gonna be any trouble as long as you eat my poo. <laughs> okay, the fishing boats will be in soon. We'll fly behind them and scream like hell, and whatever they throw overboard, we get to eat. Um, you think maybe we should just get our own food? We have beaks, we can swim. Instead of scrounging off of others, maybe... Can, we... I, can, I, can I see you for a minute? What was that? What was that? Oh, you you, you want to be a hawk? No. Is that what you want? Because you're not. No. All right, you see any clutching talons down there? No, we I have know. webbed feet. I know. Well, what are you going to do, paddle your food to death? Oh. You're going to find a little field mouse and paddle him to death with your webbed feet? No, look, I just thought... You that... thought? You thought? How's that working out for you? Not very well. Not very well. Land ho! Where? Where? Psych. Made you look loser. Good thing there wasn't land or else you'd have to meet the natives with that mustard stain on your shirt. What stain? Ah. Ah. Why did I even bring you on this trip? Because... Toss him overboard. The best damn land spotter in all of Europe. It's true, you are the best. Yeah, I don't need you to tell me that. We've now reached our cruising altitude! If you look out the window, you'll see the Rocky Mountains! Ah! We have to get out of here!
All right, you girls ready? What's going on? <laughs> Don't you laugh at it! <laughs> Don't you laugh at it. <laughs> I think we've all been in a place or a situation where we've had to let females know that they need to show respect. Luckily enough, I haven't been in a lot of those situations, but I can definitely see in some total alternate universe, I, I could have been, you know, just... I'm just lying. No, cut it up, stop it! I deserve to relax too. Spidey, can you swing us across with your web? No, I can't swing you across. And it's Spider-Man, not Spidey. I'm pretty sure I've heard people call you Spidey. Yeah, close friends. What's your name? Petey. Hey, Petey, do stuff for me. Oh, I don't like that. Yeah, you don't like it. And you're a fat nobody and I'm Spider-Man, so how do you think I feel? <laughs> you know what's real funny? I bet Spider-Man would be really big on Instagram right about now. He'd get a lot of clicks. Put the dog out. The dog's crying. Can someone put... The Lois, can someone put the dog out? I'm trying to read. Ah, what the hell? What's the matter with you? Did an ambulance go by or something? Yeah, look at this. Stop oh, that. Oh, yeah, you don't like this, Stop huh? it. Yeah. Stop this doing is, that in my carpet. What Benji would do. Hey! Yeah. Knock it oh, off. Oh, boy, that feels so Stop good. Stop it. Stop that it. feels so good. Gambling is illegal in this town. Says who? Says me. You got a problem with that? I'm not really sure. Kind of waiting for you to exhale. Actually, yeah, I do have a problem with that. Zap! 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 What the? Oh, why? How'd you learn to do that? The question isn't how I do it. It's how I forgive myself for what I've done. You're there. You're there! I couldn't hear you. The radio was too loud. Are you a pedophile? I am not your dad. I am Electric Man. What the? What the hell? How do you like it? Huh? How do you like it? Peter, what in God's name is this? Wait a minute. Are, are these pieces of Stewie's crib? I hate it here. Bye! 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 Ah! God! Get away! Uh -huh. Oh, in the kitchen, Meg. Hey, you. What are you doing? I like to watch. I want to watch you boil. I can't do it with you watching. Oh, not even if I do this? Don't do that. Oh, God. It's so hot. Oh, yeah? Then why don't I take your top off? Oh, oh, I'm boiling. I'm boiling. Yeah, now I'm going to stick my raw pasta in you. Don't move! Hold it! Freeze! No! Wait! No! Oh, for God's sake, why? This is why! Oh, no, no! Doggy out! What? Out of fire! I live here! No, no, a fire! But look, I'm trying to... Ah! Hola? Yes, could you please put Brian back on? No, no, do doggy out fire! You're the new housekeeper, aren't you? See. Si. Listen, I don't want to point fingers, but I'm missing about a thousand dollars in play money. I take. Uh, what? What? You, you took it? See. Si. We'll give it back! Come get, bitch. Peter, what the hell happened to my underwear? They're all stretched out. Oh, sorry about that. Me and the guys were using them to shoot crab apples at old man McCratchen's truck. We don't want raisins on Halloween. We want candy. Hey, Quagmire, aren't you going to get in on this? I, uh, kind of got my own game going on over here. Because our main course tonight is boiled rabbit. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, don't, I don't get that. It seems weird that I'd have a joke in my own dream. I think they've got this thing backwards. Hey, wake up! I had a bad dream, so now your night has to be terrible. Peter, still he's upset. Scooch over so he can- oh, Crap, I can't sleep like this. And now my mind is racing. Like, how does that candle in Beauty and the Beast sing so good? I mean, the teapot I get, because she's a girl, but the candle? So, how fat are you? 240, nice. Oh, Peter! What are you doing down here? Oh, hey, Brian. Stewie kind of took over our bed, so I'm looking for a place to sleep. Well, why don't you go up to the attic? I think there's even a futon up there. Ah. Huh. 
Wow, Stewie, you look exhausted. Yeah, because I was up super late last night beefing your mom. My mom's dead. Yeah, because I beefed her to death. Oh, what's your problem? Why are you being such a jerk? What have you done to the attic? Well, when I slept up here the other night, I realized what a great space it is. So I dragged up some stuff and turned it into a sweet hangout. Even made it extra awesome by stealing a real street sign. Oh. Thank you, Brian. And maybe I can help you control your strange obsession with eating pencil erasers. It's not an obsession. Mm, mm. Oh, yeah. Oh, so rubbery. Mm. It's like a little steak. Mm. Conquer these fears together, and then your nightmares will end. Huh, that's actually a good idea. Like the U.S. Army Reserves. We're completely surrounded! We need reinforcements! You know who could really bail us out? So to help you get over it, here's Frankenstein. Uh, I'm Frankenstein. I'm actually really nice. There's no need to be scared of me. Uh, Seriously? A lot of them, yeah. Chris, I'm putting together a load of laundry. You got anything? What the hell? Damn it, Peter! Now. No way! We ain't leaving. We're having too much fun up here. Quagmire just showed us his Eric McCormick impression. There could be no such thing. Well, that's what I said, but then he did it, and I was like, oh, all right, okay, yeah, kind of. Fine. You like the damn attic so much? What the hell is that? It's a digital dream interface. You see, once connected to this device, you will be able to enter my sleeping mind. And then this thing will actually allow me to enter your dream? That's right, Brian. I want you to come inside me while I'm asleep. No, yeah, don't, don't say it like that. And once you're in my dream, your job is to stop these nightmares by finding that monster and killing him. This isn't a job for the meek, Brian. The kids in Bristol are sharp and physical when they do the Bristol stuff. How does he even know this? He heard it once in the car. And just because of the roles I play, people always assume I'm very serious in real life. Yeah, I could see that. But I'm not. I'm very capable of being silly, too. See, watch. I'll show you. Okay, I'm back. Let's go. This way to the subconscious. Oh, what the hell? No. Puppy. I like your mouth and butt. What? What the hell was that? Lewis has painted a very dark picture of abduction. <clears throat> adult stuff, adult stuff, adult stuff. Why do you care so much about what I think? Well, think about it. You've been more of a father figure to me than the fat man ever has been or ever will be. Seems like my work here is done. What's the best way out of here? Oh, yeah, no, that one stays locked until the overnight to Vegas with my college a cappella group. It'll get us out of here. I'll make a duty on it. What are you nuts? I've been crowning for six hours. <laughs> <laughs> I've been crowning for six hours. Oh, man, we've all been there. Come on, this is happening. Lois, they're not bluffing. Open the door. I miss Bonnie. But I, I, am, I am so sorry. Yeah, this was all a huge disaster. Let's just agree that we both went a bit too far, hmm? I, uh, I might, I might need two weeks off from Tom Tucker. We haven't had one of those since they canceled Passions. This should be good. Okay, our top story tonight, a local car dealer has announced a hands-on-a-hard-body promotion in which a used dirt bike will... Thanks to all of you for coming out today. In just a minute, we'll begin our hands-on-a-hard-body contest. And the lucky one of you who can keep his or her hand on this dirt bike for the longest amount of time will get to... So I can destroy it in front of you. And the clock starts now! How are you going to destroy a dirt bike? You can't even open your own aspirin with that. Ah, damn it! Ooh, our first hand!
amazing. Nine hours with no break. Who's gonna win this Bruh. thing? You might as well give up now, Mr. Mayor. This Boston corn. Huh? Hey, where's Peter? I don't know. I haven't heard from him since he left work. <laughs> Hope you made extra. I brought a guest. What the hell? Who is this? Family? A stray female. Nah, I can't. I got a wicked bruise on the back of my throat. Ladies and gentlemen, please rise for our national anthem. They ain't even gonna tell us how she got the bruise. Peter Griffin I don't and trust it. Mike. Come on! That's fake. Come on, Meg. We can be like Dennis Hopper and Peter Fonda and Easy Rider. Just get on. Here, the sky's up in the sky, and the rivers are the forests, are the mountains, are the sea. Dynamute. Look what two black teenagers did when they stole dad's bike. <laughs> wow. Blame it on the blacks. What were you kids thinking? You could have been killed. It was Chris's idea. He talked me into it. Is that right? So you like feather bed? I think I may want more cigarettes. Oh, I'll get you more cigarettes, but I'm pretty mad about my dirt bike. Kids, I'm sorry to say this, but I think the two of you need to be punished. Look, it was an accident, okay? I mean, you can always buy another one, right? Buy another one? For a little while. You be the adults. What do you mean? I mean, maybe we try a little experiment. You kids switch places with your dad and me. For the next week, you'll be the parents and we'll be the kids. Well, she sounds lovely, but I still wouldn't put my face down there. Griffin, did you finish those reports I gave you? Right here, Angela. Wow. You know, I gotta say, when your dad told me about this... I don't know what the kids are complaining about. This ain't so bad. I know, this is fun. I haven't been to a pep rally in years. Do you have school spirit? Yeah! Do you have... Comes out with just like, just like a poop on a plate, right? Poop on a plate would be good because at least there'd be traces of my food still in there. Oh, snap, snap, snap. Hey, guys, give her a chance, all right? <laughs> Here is, gang, a town. Hey, family, I'm home. Ooh, that smells fantastic. Hey, buddy, how was your first day in the real world? It was actually really great. And Angela even told me I might get a raise for doing such a good job. Bathroom. Um, hey, you guys, I bet you Lois Griffin doesn't make the track team, which is an important thing in high school right now. Yeah, everyone who's anyone is running track at her high school right now. Yeah, and I bet she also... Faker, it's just a spitball. Hi, family. I'm home. Oh, Chris, there you are. Good. N now that you're both here, your father and I have something to say. Kids, we're calling off the experiment early. What? I'm gonna work out, Dad. Why not? Because you don't have a job anymore. What? Chris, what do you mean? Angela fired you and hired me. She said I've been doing twice as good a job as you did, so from now on, I'm the breadwinner in this house. Hey, I forget. Well, Lois, practically speaking, somebody's got to pay the bills around here. Seems like you don't have a choice but to let Chris work at the brewery until Peter finds a new job. Well, I suppose that makes sense. I guess it could take Peter a long time to find a job in this economy. Korean. Uh, could have been Japanese, but, but I, I think Korean. Okay, Korean. Now, how about identifying characteristics? Any any marks, piercings? He may have had a tattoo. He may have had a tattoo? Did have a tattoo? Which one was it? I, I don't know. It, it all happened so fast. You know what? It's the company's making cutbacks. You can handle it. It's just a little extra paperwork. Some of these are old SAT tests. Yeah, my drifter boyfriend is going for his GED. I want you to be the tutor that finally gets... I am exhausted. <laughs> Kinda got one. <laughs> right, Lois? <laughs> right? So, Chris, good day at the office? You know, actually, Angela said that the spreadsheets I presented were beyond the projections for last quarter. Oh, is that good? You know what? Never mind! Sweaty bodies when you're done. Let's see the money. Why do you guys hate me? Ugh, that pain in my stomach is back. Ugh. Ow! Oh, hey, Chris, by the way, the roofer came today while you were at work. And... It's gonna be five grand to fix it. Oh, that's just perfect! I love spending five thousand dollars on something nobody can see. Anyone got more happy news? I'm gonna need something we can do? I mean, 
Maybe we could ask to borrow some from Mr. Quagmire. Oh, you'd like that, wouldn't you? Like to see me walk next door, hat in hand, and ask him for money. Bet you'd have your nose pressed against the glass to watch that conversation. No, you know what? <laughs> oh my god! I think Chris is having a heart attack! We're not supposed to leave the table! Be cool, be quiet, be quiet. We now return to A Quiet Place, starring a Jewish family. <laughs> I'm finally all caught up on New Girl, if you guys want to talk about that. I don't think they're going for it. Wait. I kind of like that Schmidt. You kind of like that Schmidt. All right, fellas, I got to get going. Oh, come on. I want to get one more beer. Again. 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 Sorry, Peter. I got to work early in the morning. Yeah, I'm out too. Ah, crap. I don't have any cash. Hey, can one of you guys spot me? Just put it on your card. I can't. Lois will see the charge. She thinks I'm still at work. Whoopish. What, 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 what is it? What, what do you mean? What do you mean? Like, whoopish. Like that? Like a whip sound? Yeah. How did I do it? Very incorrectly. You don't have your own card? One that Lois doesn't know about? Nah, Lois would kill me. Ooh, wah, 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 peesh. Indiana James, anyone? What in God's name is an Indiana James? Why does that sound like something that would be along the lines of like a Dirty Harry or a, a Filthy Sanchez or like a Donkey Punch or something? Four, five, six, Maple Drive, Suite 305. The suite is just a mailbox. This is where I get all my credit card bills sent to and any other mail Donna would be mad about. Like what? Knives with gemstones, fat butt magazines, whatever you think iced tea would keep in a nightstand. But really, it's for the credit card bills. I get some of my stuff here, too. Bills, catheters, residual checks. What are the checks for? Mostly Seinfeld. You were on Seinfeld? Yeah, that's right. Peter, I'm telling you, get yourself a secret credit card. You save yourself a lot of stress. Thanks, Cleveland. Oh, this is gonna make my life so much better. Like when I used to make fat balloon animals. All right, who's next? Can you make me a giraffe? Coming right up. There you go. Don't pop that, you'll throw up. Oh, where did you find him? He found me. Oh, I bet. I bet he did find you. Hey, look who it is. You need us to pay for your drinks again? No way. Guys, you are looking at the owner of his own credit card. All right, good for you, Peter. You gonna pay us back? Come on, Joe, I don't interrupt you. Anyway, they even want me to do one of Tina Fey's Look How Quirky and Busy I Am credit card commercials. Wow, really? Yeah. Oh, wait, I think it's starting. I hear a piano shuffle and a clarinet. Taxi! Where to? Any pet shop that sells snakes. Somebody puking here? Yeah, last night some guy. Hey, it's you! Gotta go! Hi, can I help you? Can I press the button that moves to close? Sir, that's reserved for dry cleaners only. It's like a roller coaster ride for pants! Any calls? Your mistress called. She said she's waiting at the hotel for you. Now I'll be there as soon as I can. She said she's pregnant. Do you know if that Mexican doctor takes credit cards? He does. If you're scummy and on the go, try the new Visa Gold Card. Visa, it's everywhere you want to be. Hey, Dad, what do you got there? Chris, I got us lobsters for dinner. Cool. Can... can I kill them? Hmm, let me think. Of course you can kill them, sport. Yay! Let's boil up some water. Package for Peter Griffin? Huh, I didn't order anything. I, I mean, I could have if I wanted to. I have a credit card. All right. A lot of cool people on this route. Stop! You're hurting him! No, that's just air escaping. They can't feel anything. 
Oh, that's messed up because I'm pretty sure that's what people tell other people when they're doing it. Hi, can I help you? Yes, I'd like one of those flashlights with a in it, please. Oh no! Okay, okay, don't panic, everyone. <laughs> He got you, Mom. I'm surprised this thing still works after the day we had. Meaning I had sex with I know. We get it. Ew. Five minutes ago, I had that flashlight under my chin to look scary. <laughs> Peter, are you wearing a costume from Star Trek VI, The Undiscovered Country? Of course, Lois. Uh, you look more like Human Sector from Mortal Kombat. <laughs> Peter, give me the credit card. How'd you find out? Oh. Uh -huh. The UPS guy from earlier? Sorry, Peter. New rule. I, I have to report any adults bragging about having a credit card. But, but you said I was cool. Did you even mean it? Did you even mean it? bothers me even more than all the money you put on that credit card. Bonnie's new car? Oh, I know. What does she think? She's a teenager? Wait, no, no. What's worse is finding out how much you lie to me. Monday night, you said you were working late, but there's a $62 charge at the clam. So whoever stole my card is still in town. You just gave me the card, dummy. You said you had to work last weekend, then you bought a t-shirt that says working weekends does not compute with Johnny Five on it. I wanted to wait, but happy Mother's Day. You're grounded. On whose authority? General Chang. Yav. Much got Lathmo. Hey, Peter. Lois still mad at you? Yeah, but she's acting like everything's fine on Facebook so she can post pictures of food. I mean, I've done some stupid stuff, but she's never grounded me before. Well, you could just leave the house if you want. You are an adult. Brian, husbands are not adults. They are people who pay for things, but are still somehow burdens. Worst part about it, I'm gonna miss my Sunday shift at Clappy's birthday restaurant. We heard someone has a birthday. H. H. A. P. I'm still waiting for this to get funny. At least this scene. E! Happy birthday, Charlotte! Excuse me, my table is celebrating the birthday of deceased Hawaiian pop singer Israel Kamakaviwole. <sighs> well, that's why we call it Clappies. Let's go. H! Hello? Peter, Peter, you're not gonna believe whose car just broke down on Spooner Street. Tom Brady! What? Yeah, he's throwing passes to anyone who's able to leave his house. Oh, he's throwing one to Joe. Yeah. Oh my god, Joe just stood up for a second. He put that pass where only a walking person could catch it. That's how good he is. His pass made me walk. And here comes Giselle. She's giving out tag here watches. Uh, Lois, can I please go out and play with Tom Brady? She's out here. Tom Brady's taking us all to see an Anne Hathaway movie. Oh, uh, oh no, I'm grounded. Hey, it's my old wedding tux medicated pads. Boy, my butt sure was like a match that needed to be extinguished that day. Oh, what a day that was. All the preparation H I used on my fiery ring. I gotta escape. But how? Wait a minute, you saw Shawshank Redemption, Peter. How did Brooks get out of there? Ah! Hey, Possum. It's actually O-Possum. Oh, is it? Peter and the Possum will be right back. What the hell? Ah! Peter, what are you doing? I gotta get out of here, Brian. I'm going crazy sitting around the house. So you're tunneling out? Lois is gonna be furious if she finds out. That's why Lois isn't going to find out. Right, boy? What are you talking about? I'm talking about you not being a bad boy. I'm, I'm not... I'm not a bad boy. Then do not say anything to Lois. You hear me? Bad. Bad dog. So we understand each other? Yeah, I'll be good. Trust me. I saw what you did to that black belt. I don't care what color your belt is, you're a child, and I am stronger than you. <laughs> My car? 
It's a Prius. <laughs> I wouldn't say I'm specifically a hero for driving one. The heroes are the ones who come back from Iraq and drive a Prius. Gotcha! What, what the hell? Hey, you looking for me? Oh, God, what the hell is that? What's wrong? You look uncomfortable. Here, let me give you a hug. Yeah, get away from me, you gremlin! <laughs> ah, no! Why don't you rub my belly, pal? Ah, 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 ah. Your skin is so loose and wrinkly. It's like I'm just pushing around a plastic bag full of chicken bones. No. <laughs> You gonna put your clothes on? Yes, yes, I swear! You gonna keep them on? Yes, I promise I'll never bother you again with my body! Please, just make this stop! Good. Yeah, can you give me a ride to the... Yeah! What is that thing? Oh, I'm making you away! What's going on in here? Oh my god, is that a... Rat? Peter, hold it down, I'm getting a gun! <laughs> 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 Jeez, I hope she can get out. No, oh, I'm sure she'll be fine. Certified CPR. Don't anyone panic. Ah! What the oh, hell are you ooh, doing? Ooh. You know, I don't think he's hurt. I'll get to you in a moment, sir. All right, I'm gonna have to check and see if he soiled himself. Sir, ah! sir, sir, what the sir, hell is I've wrong with you? Sir, I've got to check and get see if he soiled himself. Are you crazy? Sir, sir, sir ah! I'm gonna get to stop. Alone, all right? I you gotta get these trousers somebody off. Call hey, a hey, oh, sir, sir, I've got to see if he soiled sir. himself. Somebody asked right? me to get involved, you idiot! Get off him, you jackass! Sir, I'm gonna need you to step back. All right, looks like we're clean down here. You guys take it easy. No need to thank me. Just pay it forward. All right, so this is Pawtucket Patriots National Distribution. As you can see, we are predominantly an East Coast beer. Hey, there's going to be a quiz on all this later. I'm just kidding. Someone said that to me once. Now I say it. All right, sweetie, you ready to get some new notebooks and protractors and slacks? I want blue jeans. You're getting slacked! Hey, Peter. What's that? Oh, he's going to turn you into a pile on Joe's lawn. What? Here, let's play steak catch. Oh, boy. Oh, cool. Stay catch. I'm going to use my one stake in the pants timeout. No! Ah, no! Not me! Not me! Attack him! Ah! Hey, um, it's 3 p.m. Should I give up on breakfast? Ah, Brian! Browser history! Clear it! Clear that. Ah. <laughs> Clear browser history. That black guy I saw in the news conference, ain't you? Oh, uh, yeah, that's me. This is car 15. I'm going to need backup. I've got a stolen vehicle here. But this is my car. Suspect's getting belligerent. What? Officer down. <laughs> The heat wave has finally broken, Tom. It sure has, Diane. You know what they say, if you don't like the weather in New England, go back where you came from. Uh, I don't think that's the expression. Yeah, I guess I had one too many Bloody Marys this morning. But anyway... <coughs> oh, God, I hope the boss isn't watching. Ah, <laughs> uh, this is my favorite part of the game. When two drunk guys, each holding a baby, get into a fist fight. You're stupid! No, you're stupid! Oh, now their wives are getting into it. They're gonna put their cigarettes in their mouths and bump boobs. You got no class, you No, you got no class! And now here comes security to kick out the wrong person. Come on, Miyagi, take that karate outside. All right, listen to me, you long-necked bastard. You give me the scroll, and I make you head of sanitation services for the entire city. It's a do-nothing job, sweet cake. Holy crap, Lois! It's the treasure! Oh, my God! Peter, you were right. Oh, no, it's the one kid who also followed the treasure map.
Joe, it's Peter. He's in trouble. A failed robbery at Quahog Bank and Trust has led to a terrifying hostage situation. That's right. A hostage situation. Nice going, Joe. Well, it's great being back in the north, where people are civilized. Hey, what are you guys all on a date? Yay! <laughs> the Chinese sure do like to spit, don't they? Well, Diane, that last report was so good, I think you deserve a spanking. Oh, Tom, I don't think your wife would appreciate that. Diane, that frigid old cow lives in Quahog. She can't hear a word I'm saying. Actually, we're back on the air in Quahog. <laughs> Mr. Griffin, I'm going to need to ask you a few questions. Do you think I can jump and touch that pipe up there? I don't know. The hell I can't! There, got it. Yeah, I guess your fingertips grazed it. Yeah, that counts as... Hey, at Hatch Pond, as six members of the Pawtucket Fire Department struggled valiantly to save the life of a fish trapped under the frozen ice. Rescue workers managed to get the fish out of the water, but unfortunately it died shortly after. Who'd ever thought that fish die when you pull them out of water? That's hood knowledge right there. What was all the commotion? Oh, nothing. It was just... <laughs> oh! <laughs> I just goes to show you, don't ever mess with nobody's food. You get the horns. Now let's go to Ollie Williams' cooking corner. What are you making, Ollie? Eggo! Thanks, Ollie. There's only one bed. Hey, no. We're going head to toe. Say hello to your pillow. Christmas! What's this? Cold! Why? Man! Oh! Hey, I didn't know you guys work out here. Yeah, it's a weekly regimen. Come on, come on, Cleveland, push it. Come on, come on, push it, push it, push it. Come on, it's all you, it's all you, it's all... Hey. Glan, 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 glan. Will you guys quiet down? I'm trying to concentrate on my cardio. Hey, Megan. Oh, hey, guys. Wait, did you just call me Megan? That's your name, isn't it? Well, actually, Meg is short for something else. Peter, would you give this to the nurse? Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Robots in disguise. I don't know, I didn't read the whole Wikipedia entry, but the good news is that what he has is highly treatable. With radiation first, and if necessary, chemotherapy. <coughs> oh, for God's sake. Look, do you have any idea how expensive medical school is? No, I don't. Well, it's probably pretty expensive. Today we're here to honor Joe Swanson for pulling my poor one-eyed cat Bootsy out of the old stovepipe of my grandmother's cabin. Joe Swanson won the special People's Decathlon and we're here to honor him. What's good here? It's all good. What's the freshest? It's all fresh. How about the halibut? Is it gamey? Gamey? I mean, you know, is it fishy? It's all fish. Is there a special way to prepare it? I cook it up. W well, what's the best fish here? What's your favorite fish? I don't eat fish. I only like spaghetti of an accident today at the Quahog Cable Company, all television transmission will be out for an undetermined amount of time. Of course, no one can see this news program, so it doesn't really matter what we say. <laughs> I'm the Lord Jesus Christ. I think I'll go get drunk and beat up some midgets. How about you, Diane? Well, Tom, I just plain don't like black people. <laughs> <laughs> you guys, we're still on in Boston? <laughs> oh, good. You're alone. Hey, Lois. Why are you wearing a robe? Well, I heard about how Peter's making you see him naked lately, so I thought the only way to get even is for you to see me naked. W really? Yeah, it only seems fair. You know what? That makes sense to me. I mean... All right, here we go. Ah! <laughs> you thought you were going to see my wife's penis, but no, it's mine. <laughs> you idiot! Well, there you have it. Flashing your dog best friend with your junk but, and using your wife as a decoy. Definitely classy moves. One of the reasons why I love Family Guy as much as I do. But yo, this has been Boy Blasphemous HD. If you guys enjoyed the video, if you did, make sure to comment, like, and or subscribe. Go get me the three million subscribers and I'll stay in a haunted house and stream it and all of that. <laughs>